Carolyn Doobie here. What's swimming around in my head today? Well, sharks. Why, you ask? Because it was recently Shark Week on Discovery Channel. And I love watching that. I love seeing the science and just the... Ma oh, they're just majestic watching them swim through the water. Granted, they're also pretty fierce when they're going around, you know, eating whatever they want to eat. And it's not like I want to get in the water with them. But I do think they are amazing creatures. It also has a bunch of nostalgia for me. Because I remember back to the early days of Shark Week when I was much younger, <laughs> showing my age again, and how exciting that all was. Well, I decided to capture both my fascination and interest in sharks, as well as nostalgia, in an art journal page as I play around with a little color. Warning, these colors are not, how shall we say, realistic interpretations. Anyway, enough of my talking, let's take a look. Well, here's the deli paper that I started with. I had created this from cleaning off stencils when I was playing around with some of my new stencils from over at Stencil Girl Products. Slapping on some gel medium there, and then I'm going to stick the deli paper right on top. Whenever I'm working with deli paper, there are always a few wrinkles here and there because, well, I'm just not that careful with this. So I'm sure if I worked a lot harder at it, it could be even smoother. But a little wrinkle, I say it gives it texture. And then that white space, you knew it was going to disappear, didn't you? I'm just grabbing a cosmetic sponge and smearing color all around it. Now this art journal page, well, this thing has been a labor of love in the sense that it took a long time. Not that I worked on it for a long time, but there were some big gaps in between different layers. So I'd made the deli paper a while back, and then I put it into the art journal page, and I put the color around it like what you're seeing here. And after I got to that state, I just really liked it as it was. So rather than fight it or force it, I let myself just enjoy it there. I couldn't bring myself to put anything on top of it, so I just let it be. And it sat for a little while, I think for a week or two, about like that point, before I decided I wanted to add something to it. So keep in mind with this as you're seeing it, there was a lot of time in between some of these layers, because that's how it rolls for me sometimes. Well, it took the nostalgia of Shark Week to snap me out of just looking at this page and adding some more to it. Those are stencils that I hand cut just out of cardstock. And if you've ever cut stencils out of cardstock, yeah, they don't last very long, kind of no matter what I do. So, and they also warp on me pretty badly. So what I was showing you there was some repositionable glue stick. I put that all over the back of it to help hold it a little bit flatter. Because even when I cover it with gesso, even when I do all those things, it still ends up getting warpy on me whenever it's a paper um, stencil. So I'm going to make it so that it stays where it's supposed to stay, and then I'm going to come and stencil on top of it. Now the paint that I'm going to be using is a Dilutions paint, and I love the blue in it, and that's the color that I wanted. But a word of warning about stenciling with Dilutions paints. They're a thinner, more fluid paint. I shouldn't say thinner, it's just more fluid. There's great pigment in it, but it's fluid. So the runnier something is, the more likely it is to go under a stencil. So I'm actually having to really concentrate to actually make sure I just go up and down with my cosmetic sponge. Because if I do my usual side to side stuff, it's going to push a more fluid paint right under there. And I kind of want to hang on to the lines that are happening around these sharks. So my fingers are crossed that I'm being patient enough, but I can tell you it is very difficult for me to actually keep going up and down with that sponge when really I just want to go side to side and get it done quickly. And it wasn't until I lifted this stuff up and I could see the sharks on there that I realized this was the perfect background for me to do this with. So I am so thankful to my muse for getting me to take a break with this before I thought of this idea. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Well, anyway, here's what the sharks look like. I've pulled off the stencil, but they need eyes and gills. To be able to get a nice bright white on them, that is high flow paint filled into that bottle. And now I'm just gonna draw some gills on them about where I think gills go on sharks. Just a disclaimer here, these are not actual scientific representations of a shark. This is an artistic interpretation of one in case you weren't sure. Gonna trace around the edges because even though I was trying to be as careful as I could be, I wasn't perfect. So I'm gonna smooth out those edges using a white Stabilo pencil. And some of the paint is even still wet not going to be a problem. It'll just kind of smear around and it'll all work out just fine. But it kind of just defines my edges a little bit, makes me feel better about evening stuff up. Because really, you can barely see most of those lines that I'm doing, but for some reason, I feel much better when I have those on there. And of course, sharks swim in water, so I have to get some water somewhere on this page. So I'm going to bring in some fountain pens. These are these cute little super short 
mini fountain pens by Pilot, and I'll have a link for them over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com. If everything's worked out, you should see a link popping up. If a link doesn't pop up, they'll be down below in the video description, so you can get right over to the blog post that goes with this video. But these cute little pens, and I use fountain pens to write over paint because I've ruined too many felt tips, so I'm really going to the fountain pen to help me write on top of things without actually ruining a pen. Now, if I'm smart, now is when I'll say to you, if you've been enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think somebody will enjoy it, share it with them. And hey, come on over to the blog and say hello at acolorfuljourney.com because things are about to go not as planned. So if you thought I had everything all together, that's about to be, uh, that myth is about to be broken here. As I put the letters down, they aren't, that's about where I want them to go, but I don't want them to overlap on the shark and I want them to fit there with the amount of space around them that I want. I've got this vision in my head and yeah, it didn't fit there, it didn't work. You'll notice too that I can easily move these sticky backed letters around because I've actually learned not to push the letters down because I have a terrible time deciding where I wanna position them. So this way I can keep moving them around and yeah, I don't like it there either. That's not what I wanted. So I'm really fixating on the look that I wanted and no matter how many places I move them around to, I want it where I want it. So I'm gonna have to make some compromises. I think that shark is going to have a few letters on him and he's just going to kind of have to suck it up buttercup and deal with it because I want those letters and those words to fit down at the bottom. His fin will still work just fine even with an S on it. When I think I've got him where I want him, that's when I can go in and push him down and say, yep, this is the place where they're going to be. Now it's time for me to add a little bit of journaling, bringing in another one of these cute little short um, fountain pens from Pilot. They have them in all different colors. And I'm just kind of putting down my thoughts and my memories here about Shark Week because I remember back when it started and what a huge deal that was. And now those letters again. Yeah, I don't like the color. So now I'm getting all picky about that. Well, color is something I can easily change. So grabbing some white paint, I'm putting that right on top of the green. And I have to say, oops, that didn't really go the way I'd hoped. I thought it would pop out a little bit more, but it actually kind of gets lost. And now I've kind of smeared white paint on it. So what should I do next? Well, it's wet paint. I'm not going to let it dry. You know me. I just couldn't possibly give it time to dry in there. So I'm going to grab some more paint. And I just have to laugh at myself. I'm so impatient at this point that I can't wait for anything to dry because I just want to get that color on there because I kind of got this look in my head and I want to see if I can make it happen after how patient I was because the first layer or two took weeks basically is waiting for the idea but now that the idea has hit look out I have absolutely no patience and I want to get some color on that thing right now well thanks for joining me for a little play in my art journal today as I celebrate shark week and all the memories that it brings back for me if you've enjoyed this video, you know what I'd love for you to do. Subscribe, like it, share it, and of course stop by the blog and say hello at acolorfuljourney.com. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey. <laughs>